Dear all, welcome to this new tutorial dedicated to black magic design. DaVinci Resolve 18. One of the best video editors offering professional tools for everyone without asking for any paid license or subscription. This comes with loads of different workspaces in order to trim media, correct colors, and apply outstanding effects and audio adjustments, all in one single place. It is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux in two main versions, one free and another on payment called Studio, offering more effects and tools such as Neural Engine, 3D Audio, and much more. In this video, we will run the free DaVinci Resolve in a Mac OS machine. As you open DaVinci Resolve, the Project Manager page opens, showing all your existing projects made. These can be either local, saved in your computer or hard drive, or shared online by using any network or the newest Blackmagic cloud service, requiring your own Blackmagic account. They can also be collected within project libraries, such as folders with proper name and location. To start with a new project, click on New Project at the bottom. You can always come back to the previous dialog with the Home button. The new project opens on the main interface, divided in several workspaces at the bottom. Inside Media, you import, manage, and organize your files. With Cut, you trim these files properly. Switch to Edit to make and build the main video. Open Fusion to add professional and custom effects. With Color, you apply professional color adjustments. Inside Fairlight, you make proper audio corrections, recordings, and remixes. And finally, you open Deliver to render and export your final video. In this video, you are going to see the most important workspaces you need as a beginner. Do not forget to watch our dedicated playlist to extend your knowledge on DaVinci Resolve. The first thing to do is import all your files to work with, such as photos, videos, and sound files. Switch to Media and drag and drop these files from any folder into the Media Pool panel at the bottom. Here you can select any file to get a quick preview above. If you do not see any file, make sure to import supported formats such as .mov and .mp4. This Media Pool is also present inside the Edit Workspace, from which you can drag and import files inside the main project timeline which is the place where you build your main video. Your footages become blocks called clips as much long as they last in time. Visual files like videos and photos are collected within video tracks in blue color, whereas audio, speech, and music within audio tracks in green color. You can adjust the timeline preview with timeline view options on the left in order to show or resize thumbnails, audio waveforms, or resize track's height. You can also zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel while holding down the Alt key, and move in time with the Command or Control key down. To get a preview on your video in progress, use the player above and watch the video preview. You can also place or drag the red marker to check specific frames or a sequence of them. Make sure to check your project settings in the bottom right corner. Under Timeline Format, you can adjust the video preview options, such as resolution and frame rate to use. You shall relax these if you do not have a good hardware, and especially if you do not have a smooth preview. To save your project, use Command or Control on Windows and S. Resolve shows an edited label above to remind you to save. Now let's see how to edit clips with the selection mode. Click and drag any clip to move it in time or within tracks. These tracks are also created automatically if necessary. Videos containing audio are moved and kept together. Unless you right-click and go to Link Clips to make these independent. If visual clips overlap in time in different tracks, the clip placed on top is always shown in front of all the others inside lower tracks. Whereas if clips get overlapped within the same track, the second clip gets cut. 
If this happens, you can quickly undo with Command or Control and Z. To adjust any clip length, just drag from its edges. Depending on the cursor shape, you can extend the clip over the following one or stop at it. Consider that this action removes part of the clip content if this is reduced in length. You can adjust the clip length by acting on its playback speed. In this case, right-click and go to Change Clip Speed and define the proper percentage. Above 100% to fasten it and reduce its length. Or below 100% to make it slower and longer in time, without touching its content. You can also reverse the clip and correct its audio pitch if you like. To make copies of any clip, just drag it while holding down the Alt key. To delete any clip, just select it and use the Backspace key. Whereas to split any clip in two or more independent parts, enable the Blade Edit Mode and click on it. On the left, you get several options to manage the content inside each track. Click on the Lock button to block any modification on the current track. And use the Frame button to hide any video track content. Whereas click on M or Mute to mute an entire audio track. And on S or Solo to mute all the other tracks except the current one. To delete any track, right click on it and go to Delete Track. Open the Inspector panel on the right to enhance the clip selected from the timeline. Depending on the kind of clip, you get several sections enabled from Video to File each with several properties to customize the sliders or precise values. In this case, double-click to type in and apply with the Enter key. Moreover, use the Revert button to reset any edited property and the Orange button to turn it on or off. Check the preview to see the result of your modifications. If you do not see anything applied, make sure to preview the current clip. When dealing with videos and pictures, you can open the Video section to adjust their appearance. With Transform, you can move, scale, and rotate the clip. And also 3D rotate with Pitch and Yaw. And flip horizontally or vertically. Switch to Cropping to crop the clip from any side. Adding feathers with softness. Whereas open Dynamic Zoom to add a nice motion effect by following any ready template chosen. These three properties are also available as tools in the bottom left corner. For example, you can enable Transform to move the clip by dragging its box on the preview, and also scale and rotate it with its nodes. If you do not see these nodes, make sure that the tool is enabled. In particular, with the Dynamic Zoom tool, you can make a custom motion effect on the clip. Once you move and transform the Start or Green Rectangle and the End or Red Rectangle, you build a Pan and Zoom effect going from the first rectangle to the second one. Furthermore, you can open Composite to adjust transparency, Stabilization to remove shakiness from videos, and Lens Correction to correct lens distortion. From the tools list, you can also enable annotations to draw markers showing sketches, arrows, and rectangles. When selecting audio files, you can adjust volume, balance the stereo channels with pan, correct the pitch, and apply audio filters with equalizer. If you deal with raw images, you also get the image section to apply advanced corrections on colors, exposure, details, brightness, and much more. These are only part of the possible corrections you can make with the Color Workspace, which is totally dedicated to color adjustments and grading with wheels, tone curves, scopes, and much more. Do not lose our dedicated tutorial to learn more about the Color Workspace. All the inspector properties can be also changed in time by using the keyframes. If you click on the Diamond node next to any property, you also enable the Envelope button on such clip that you can see if you zoom in on the clip enough. This button opens the property graph, showing how the selected property changes in time through a simple envelope curve.
At first, this curve is flat and constant in value. You can pull it up and down to change its value. If you move the red marker and click on the diamond button above, you add a new keyframe. Each keyframe saves its instant of time horizontally and property value vertically. So a proper placement of several keyframes shape the envelope curve, modifying the property in time as you like. Make sure to use the options on top to refine the curve around each keyframe. To remove any keyframe, just select it and use Command or Control and X. To remove all keyframes, just reset the whole property. Now let's see the effects panel. This collects several outstanding effects, transitions, and text you can add to your project. You can apply three different effects. Toolbox Effects collects ready effect made with the Fusion workspace that we won't see in this video. To learn more about the Fusion workspace, check out our dedicated tutorial. You also get Open FX or Resolve FX to apply outstanding effects on visual clips and audio effects for amazing audio effects. Resolve 18 includes new effects such as despill, edge detection, and the improved blur lens flare. You can hover over any effect to get a quick preview of it and drag and drop it on any clip to apply it. This clip shows an effects icon and a new effects section on the inspector, showing all the different properties you can customize just like any other inspector property just seen. On the right side, use the arrows to change the effects order and the bend button to remove the effect definitely. The effects panel also includes loads of video and audio transitions that introduce or end any content with nice effects. You can drag and drop any transition to the edge of any clip or between two clips if these are put next to each other. You can manage transitions just like clips as they can be moved, adjusted in length and speed, and edited in properties with the inspector. To change the transition effect, just drag another on it. Whereas to remove the transition, just select it and use the backspace key. Besides effects and transitions, you can also add amazing titles. These include loads of ready text templates, including static tiles, animated fusion titles made with a fusion composition, and subtitles. Drag and drop any template to create a gray text clip possibly placed on a top video track not to get overlapped by other clips. Just like standard clips, you can open the inspector panel to adjust text font, style, color, and also correct the animation applied. Whereas switch to settings to adjust the video options as seen for visual clips. If your video is ready, open the Deliver workspace to export it. At the bottom, adjust the In-Out region to select what to export. And check the Render Settings panel on top. Set File Name and Destination folder on Location and select the color template on top, such as the optimized H.264 for MP4, Apple Pro Res, up to Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, or Audio Only to export just the audio content, including the MP3 format. Make sure to set how to render the timeline, such as obtaining the single final video or the single edited media you have selected from the clip section. Resolve also includes ready templates and either render or upload directly on YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter in HD and 4K resolution. If you prefer to get full control, you can switch to custom and set the complete video and audio options such as video codec, format, resolution, and frame rate as well as audio codec, data rate, and bit depth. At this point, go to Add to Render Queue to add a new job on the Render Queue panel on the right with the chosen video and audio options. Then select the job and go to Render at the bottom to extract your video. Resolve will never add watermarks on such video, even if you use the free version. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to visit our channel to discover more about DaVinci Resolve and other outstanding software.